today about drawing eyes on your balloon animals. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you some fun different things. I'm gonna show you how to draw circles on and I'm gonna show you with eye stickers and I'm gonna show you how to draw princess faces on. Everything I can about eyes. So I wanna try to get a little close to the camera to show you guys this. Let's start with a basic dog like this one now what i see a lot of people do is draw a lot of beginners will do this they'll take a balloon and some advanced <laughs> and they'll draw the eyes up here but <laughs> Did you know that this is where the dog's ears are? Those are actually the dog's ears. Now, his eyes shouldn't be on his ears. I guess you could do it that way, but I think once you do it like that, he doesn't look like a dog, or it looks now it looks like a dog without ears, because this these would be the eyes. You should add extra ears right there if you do it that way. But I'm not saying it's wrong, it's just different. But let me show you some cute ways. So I'm gonna flip this around backwards and we'll pretend those are not there. So if you're just a, um, not really good at drawing eyes and you just wanna draw circles, I like to keep the circles, rather than having them far apart, like one on this side and one on that side, I think it's cuter when you keep the eyes close together so I'm gonna draw just two dots and I'm resting my hand on the nose of the balloon and then draw them a little bit close together like that. And if you wanna take this a little step farther, you can draw an arch up over that like that. And then like that. It's, it's hard to um, get the camera right on me the right way. <laughs> like I can't, it's hard to uh, see what I'm drawing when I'm looking right at the camera. But you can draw the eyes close together and then give them little eyebrows. I'm not real happy with those eyes because I'm looking at the camera. And then the nose I put right up above the knot, but you could use the knot as the nose, and then I put a smile under, like a cheek, and then a smile, right like that, sometimes a tongue hanging out, right like that. And sometimes you can put like a white dot, like right in there to kind of make the eyes glow a little. But, let me show you two with eye stickers. I'm gonna get another dog. And I found these on Amazon pretty cheap. And there's all these mouth stickers. I mean, they have monkey noses and everything. And it looks like a monster mouth and a lion mouth and a clown mouth. And there's all these, uh, these are all noses, like a little tiger and a clown nose. Uh, and maybe they match up with what's on the roll right below. And then these are all kind of different eyes. So pick the eyes that you want. And I'm going to pick these round ones. And then you just put them on your balloon, kind of close together. You probably already can figure out how to put stickers on your balloons but kind of place them close together if you go the sticker route like that because I I think it makes it look a little nicer and I'm going to show you on like a flatter balloon like I'll do a teddy bear of how to draw the eyes but do you see how those are close together even when I draw eyes I will make a number eight like a number eight so that the eyes are close together so it looks kind of cute. 
So I do that. I don't know what this will look like with a nose on it. Probably kind of stupid, but because <laughs> the balloon sticks out, but we could try it. I don't know that. I think it's going to look a little silly because this, this is a dog. So, yeah, I don't know about that. Let's see. I'm going to put a human nose on the dog. I'm going to cut the knot off. No, I'm not. <laughs> Can't find the scissors, so. There's a human nose on the dog. Well, it looks a little silly. And guess what else I figured out that you can do? I'll show you um, drawing in a minute. But it's probably rather expensive to do. Unless you can find them wholesale or something. But you can use Peeper's Puppets and put them on your balloons. <laughs> I discovered that I, I sometimes pass things out to the kids like little trinkets. And... I use Peeper's Puppets on my tigers and some of the dogs just for the fun of it. So to do that, like you, you would want to twist off a little bubble and make sure there's not like a ton of air in your balloon. And then wedge it up through like this and then leave go of it. But doesn't that look cute? <laughs> and that's a Peeper's Puppet on the balloon. And then the eyes jiggle. So I think that's kind of cute. I love that, actually. <laughs> it's kind of cute. But let me um, let me go on to before I go any further. Let's do um, eyes on a teddy bear. This is gonna be good a good example to show you. So if I was gonna draw eyes on a teddy bear, and I like also to see what I what I can add little googly eyes too made out of a balloon. I'll show you that in a second. Um, for a teddy bear, um, draw a number eight sideways. You can actually just hold the bear. Just hold the bear sideways like this and draw a number eight. Make make it nice and make the, you know, things nice and round. So I draw a number eight. Right, like that. See a number eight? And then what and then turn it this way and then draw circles laying down at the bottom so like the sides of that number eight. Like right down at the bottom here. You wanna draw circles in. Right there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll add this um, video to my all my courses too. Well, at least the beginner and the advanced beginner. I can put it in the other ones if you want. But I think I should um, add this. Because I think some people wonder about drawing eyes. And it took me like a couple years to, to really get it down good. But there's an, a number eight sideways with circles filled in laying at the bottom. And then put eyebrows on. For that, you can put... Two dots close together and then make like apostrophes like have that coming out and then for the nose I put like a the top half of a heart or you can do this again it looks like a piggy but then bring it together it's like the top half of a heart for the teddy bear anyway and then just kind of fill it in to the top of the knot and then the smile, you just curve it like that. And it could be done, but I do like to give them cheeks. So I would curve that like that. And that's how I would draw a teddy bear face. And sometimes if I'm not too busy, I'll add that shine in the eyes. And um, you just put like a dot right where you want them to look. Like it looks, now it'll look like he's looking over that way. But yeah, put it, center it more if you, the white dot, if you want it to look like he's looking at you. But there's that. And then let's see, what was I going to show you now? Um, oh, the white eyes. 
like little 260 eyes. You can make a bunch of these and freeze them, but I wouldn't draw the Sharpie on until you, after you put them on the balloon because they'll twist like Cookie Monster and it, it'll look like your balloon animal was drinking. So like this is a dinosaur and I like to see what I can add onto the balloon, like the, add the eyes on, what kind of animals that they would look good on and you can put sticker eyes on your dinosaur like right up here if you want would look cute well i only stuck one on but let me keep going with this so i'm not here all night but yeah you you would leave a little bit piece of a knot you could stretch it and just wrap it around at least wrap it around once or twice so the kids don't pull it off. And there's there's that. And for the little googly eyes, once they're on the balloon animal, I'm gonna hold press my hand here and then draw circles. Just two circles right in the center. If your hand, this part of your hand's resting on the balloon, it helps you to hold your hand steady. And he, he's still a little messed up there, but and then I'll put those commas. I use these little well apostrophe things a lot on my balloons for nostrils because I think they look cute. And then teeth, I just put little lines coming down like that. So there's how I would put a face on a T-Rex. And then let me do uh, two more things for you. These little shaker eyes, you also can put them on like a lion or a tiger or a leopard. This one is a leopard. Um, you just wrap them in. Just play around with them and see what hole you can put them on. I guess it would be better if this was an orange balloon animal, but it's not. But That is how, and you, you can lift them up some. That's how I would put these on. And he has shaky eyes. So I think that's really cute for balloon animals. The little shaky eyes. But that's something I wanted to show you. And now let's get to turtle eyes, and then I'll show you how I do princess eyes, and then I'll show you how I do a eyeball like of a, a, a human or a princess like close up. So this is the princess model that I'm gonna use. And this is a little turtle and he has the eyes tucked in and I bring them to the, the front instead of the side. And this is just, um, instead of drawing them over on the side here, I have them facing out like he's looking at you. So instead of drawing it over on this side, draw it up here in the front. So, right like this, and same here. What? Squeaky, huh? Okay, sorry about the squeaks. Okay, and then I'd put the little apostrophes there, and then two little things and a letter V and then little eyebrows up on the top. Like I said, it's a little tricky because I'm not actually looking at the balloon real close when it's facing the camera. And for the poodle, a lot of people will draw the eyes you know, in the wrong place or up too high or down too low. Well, it actually, I mean, it doesn't look bad right there, but I think for the poodle, they should go up on the top here. For this kind of poodle, you might make your poodle a little different. But I make the, like the eight, I just make them more oval sometimes. So it's like a letter eight, but that, like, that would be more oval eighty. You know, like an eight without round circles, it would be like two ovals sitting on top of each other, basically. And then... The pupils, or the black part, would be a little taller. 
<laughs> like sometimes I'll do that. You can play around. See? And then the eyebrows on the top. And then here you can put like a little heart nose right up above the knot, a little heart, and then a little smile underneath. And it's, if it's been a really, really long day, then my balloon animals will reflect my mood. So some of them will look really, really crazy <laughs> if I've had a crazy day and I'm getting tired like this. I'll show you. So, <laughs> You can find little ways to um, entertain yourself while you're working with balloons. <laughs> That's on a long, long day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just having fun with it. But let's move on to princesses. So before um, you do the princess, you can practice a little bit. What I would recommend is taking like a five inch round or a big round balloon and just practicing <clears throat> eyes and faces and so let me show you how I draw a face yeah I'll use this so basically an eyeball is a football but on my princesses I only draw the top half let me make an eye for you first let's draw a football so my hands resting on the balloon and basically that's like a football like a top curve and a bottom curve do you see that? And then we'll fill in the color. I'll use blue. Blue is great for the princess eyes because the girls seem to like it. And then yeah, I'll move up here like this. And then you put a curve here and a curve here and then fill that in. I'm just showing you how to make an eye. I guess I should make two eyes. Let me make two. Draw another football. And then fill the blue in. A curve here, a curve there. Right like that. And then we'll put circles in the very center of that. Circles. You can bring them a little bit closer to the middle so that it doesn't look like she's either cross-eyed or they're too far out. So try to center your circles. And you, yeah, you can even bring the pupil down some like that. Yeah, you can have the, I would probably have the people hitting the bottom of the football like that. And then for eyelashes, you just wisp them up like that from the thing. Boing, 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 like four. And then for the nose, the nose is just like a, little hump. I mean, you can draw a line down, but I think that's too much. So I just do like a tiny little curve. Just like that. Just a little one. And you can put like a little nostril too if you want. Like, you can put more. You don't have to. It might be overkill, but you can do that. And then for the mouth, the mouth is two bumps for the top lip and then a curve right underneath of it and those those kind of fan out into the into the top lip and then the bottom lip kind of goes just a little hump underneath and then put little cheeks on there little cheeks like that that's just, there's other ways you can draw faces. This isn't the only way, I'm just showing you. And then little, like little circles. And then you can even arch your eyebrows. 
like that. And you also can put shine in her eyes. So you just pick somewhere, like you could look at her and see where can I put these little circles, white ones that she'll be looking at me. And so there's one face and you can just keep practicing and drawing faces all over the balloon till you get what you want. But whenever I do some of the um, faces on the princess, I think it looks prettier. If you don't do the bottom part of the football, let me show you. So what I usually do will just be like this, the top of the football, and then I just curve it up for the bottom lash, like that. And I use that, and then I come down from the center of the top of that, right like that. And I'll do the same thing here, curve it, and just add the eyelashes. Whoops, messed it up a little. And then just bring that down like that and then sometimes just a little little hint of a nose and then like you can put the cheek there and then curve it you don't even have to put the other cheek so that's another way you can do it sometimes i'll bring this down like that like but not like i usually won't connect it you can bring it down just a little like that just to let you know sometimes I'll do that and then you can put the color in or you can just go like that that works let me show you on the princess so here's a princess and for her eyes what I do is the same thing uh, I just curve this and then wing it up and then put like three eyelashes on and then a circle coming down same thing over here, boing, boing, boing. Three little eyelashes and a thing coming down. And I made one a little bit too big. So I'll even those out like that. And then a little, little nose, just a little hump, like a little C, like a, not even a whole C, just a little, little bump like that. And then I do like to give like one cheek. And then those two little bumps down, like a bump down, a little curve there, and then the bottom lip. And then it looks like she's smiling, but you can put like the other little curve right there if you want. And then for eyebrows, you don't even have to draw the circles, you can just, just give little curves for the eyebrows. So... That's what I usually do on my princesses. Thank you guys for watching. If you like my videos, like and subscribe, please. Thanks so much. Take care until next time.